Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about a fragrance that has actually been discontinued right after launch. So this launched part of the Tom Ford Rose Collection. So they came out with Rose de Russi, Rose de Chien, and Rose d'Almalfi. And right after, you know, a certain something happened, uh, Rose de Russi was pulled from the market. So the fragrance we're talking about today is Rose de Russi. <music> So I was able to find this fragrance at the Estee Lauder outlet, and when I bought, when I found this fragrance, I got notified from someone that, you know, let me know, hey, we got this fragrance in stock, and I had to go buy it, even though it was named after a controversial moment. Uh, this fragrance is fairly new, and we have the box right here. So the packaging is very similar to the fucking fabulous, so the black box with a... Uh, white label here. The difference is that the effing fabulous one is matte and this is white on that one. So this is a 1.7 retail value for this one is now almost $300, which is pretty bazonkers. Um, I did say and I did think to myself I wasn't going to continue to buy this brand because it is a little bit kind of silly how expensive it's gotten you know it's at the end of the day it's perfume i love fragrance i love you know smelling good i love admiring it and it's art pieces but it's a little bit too much you know we don't need to be making people have credit card debt for a fragrance to smell good i think it should be you know a luxury but it should also be a little accessible so yeah this brand kind of just, just rubs me the wrong way essentially with it this is what the box looks like the back has your information from tom ford so it has here as well it's 1.7 50 ml bottle um, and like i said the retail is for 280 295. so when you pull this up that's what you get inside the liquid in this guy is a little bit you know like a magenta fuchsia type pink inside of it uh, the label's a little bit different to a lot of the other Tom Ford labels. It looks like it's double glazed, essentially, so it has like a white coating underneath it, a transparent label, and then they put the black font on top of it. So, yeah, um, kind of looks like a fake label, if you ask me, but hey, that's what they decided to do. At the bottom, you get more information on the fragrance itself. This fragrance was launched in 2022, so it's a fairly new release. Um, like I said, it was pulled pretty quickly. You can still find Rose de Chine and you can still find Rose Del Mafi online. Those fragrances retail for that amount. I did get this one 50% off, so I did pay somewhere around 140 plus tax for this guy. Uh, so definitely a good deal. I would go get it because it is something that is going to become a collectible. You know, like I said, it was launched and then pulled. So you're not going to be able to find it again. So although this video is filmed to be a review on this guy in particular, I'm going to compare it with other fragrances from the brand because Tom Ford has launched quite a bit of rose fragrances. So he has launched Rose Prick. He's launched Cafe Rose. He's launched... Rose Del Malfi and Rose de Chien. I don't have those two, but I do have this one. I'm going to compare it because Rose is a scent that's very familiar to a lot of us. You know, it's been around in perfuming for quite a, quite some time. Uh, and it's something that, you know, we're all familiar. You know, I think all of us have smelled the rose water, rose of some sort. So it's something that, although it's a really great perfume scent, it's one of those scents that can become a little bit repetitive when it comes to perfume. So there's only so many different variants that a brand can actually make a rose fragrance into, and Tom Ford has a very distinctive style to his fragrances, and I don't feel like he's branched out enough for any of any of you to go out there and buy all three. So just so you are aware, the top of this one is a shiny black label, and Rose Prick, it's a matte black, and Cafe Rose, well, that one was launched. Well, this one was originally launched with the purple sticker, then it got changed into the traditional Tom Ford private plant. So the notes for this one are going to be white pepper, rose, woody notes, and black leather. Again, it's one of those things that this brand has done over and over again. 
So he's done the black leather and the rose combination with effing fabulous. Um, it's it's a very noir de noir has a rose. It's not considered to be a rose fragrance, but it's it's very rose prominent. Uh, so it's one of those things where it, I've smelled it before. It, it's been done before. I think that gives, you know, this one a little bit, you know, thumbs down, a little bit of a less points uh, as to not buying it. So this to me smells very similar to Rose Prick without the powdery elements. So Rose Prick is more expensive than this one. So if this one was still available uh, on the market, it would be, this is part of the original private blend line. So, you know, those prices of 290 for this size. And then you go up to, uh, I don't know how much they cost anymore, they're a lot. Versus this one, you know, you're paying, I believe, $400 for the same size in this one. So it's more expensive for this one. But it has a lot of elements from this guy. So it has the same type of rosy, leathery type of DNA to it without the powdery elements of this one. So this one has a lot more powder powderiness to it. This one has a little bit of that peppery touch to it, but it's not too much. It's not too different. Uh, if you've spent your money on this one, which, you know, this one used to cost $500. It's a lot more for this size. Uh, I would definitely skip out on buying this one because it is one of those things that, mm, not very different, but if you're not, you know, a fan of the powdery, because I know that the powdery elements on Rose Prick can definitely come off old ladyish. I've heard of that time and time again, you know, that this fragrance is beautiful, but it does have that, you know, mature side to it and i would say that you know rose de russi is one of those that would be considered a little bit more youthful a little bit more young a little bit more hip now comparing it to cafe rose i think this is very similar to a lot of his original scent making so i would say it's similar to noir de noir but it's a lot nicer a fragrance to me this one tends to go more jammy cafe watery rose mixed with coffee elements, mixed with, you know, sweetness to it. It's a lot more unique, but it can still fall into like, you know, I've smelled it before. And I know that doesn't make any sense. How is it unique and you've smelled it before? But this one is definitely one of those that, you know, you don't smell very often, but it can be a little bit old school in that regard. Uh, but that's what gives this one sophistication, elegance, and opulence. I think that this one's a really terrific scent. I, it's one of my favorites. Uh, they don't make it in the big sizes anymore because it hasn't been, you know, one of the top sellers. But I would definitely go for this one over this guy. Uh, again, not available anymore. I would collect it just to collect it. But if it was still on the market, this is just theoretical, I would go for this guy over that one. If you can find this one at your department store or if you can find an Estee Lauder Cosmetics Company store, which is our outlet, I would definitely stick for this one because... You have to. I mean, if you're a collector like me, you just have to buy it. Um, is it worth the retail price? No, I would say not. Because like I said, if you've bought it and if you're a fan of the brand, you probably have another fragrance in there that is similar to it. Smells wise, it's been done before. It is lighter. It is cleaner, but it does have the same. It, it's the same footprint. It's the same fragrance, just adding on to onto it or taking away from it. So yeah, I'm not trying to bad talk this fragrance. I think that it's a terrific scent. I do like the fact that it's unique in its packaging. So they kind of took like the white suede approach to it just with the black top on it. So that's nice for sure. I think that it's a beautiful bottle. I think that it would look good on everyone's counter. I feel like the color for the box, the box top, or the box bottom, not the box top, is a little cheap looking. Like this combination of you know, colors don't look very good to me. It looks a little bit Victoria's Secret, but hey, uh, I mean, someone thought it was a good idea. Yeah, and the glossy black box, I don't know. I would definitely try to check out the other ones from this range, you know, Rose de Chine and Rose del Malfi. Rose del Malfi smells like something else that I would like a little bit more because it's a cleaner rose. Uh, and Rose de Chine, I feel like it's going to be the same thing as Rose de, Ru Rose de Russi because it has, it's, it's a smoky rose and Rose Prick kind of, kind of has that element to it where it's dusty, powdery rose with a smoky edge to it. I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's a hard call. I, I definitely don't know if, if it's one that I would recommend to you 
the only reason I recommend it and that I purchased it is due to the fact that, you know, it's discontinued and it's going to be gone and it just lived such a short life. Like it was put out there and then boom, taken away from us. So rest in peace, Rosa Rousse. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, make sure to comment and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day and yeah, see you next time.